And secondly, considering the depth and thickness of the tissue, if there is edema, use one ratchet, which will crush the hell out of the tissue. Do not repeat, do not do, you can see the imprint on the, this is rubber, even this gets crushed. The bowel will get totally damaged. So one ratchet at a time, therefore more than one, provide it here, so that the instrument can live that long. If you are foolish and you have not been trained well, you will start with this. Your instrument is done in three days. Start with one ratchet and you are enough. Coming back to the needle holder. Now this is transversalations are there and this is the needle. My finger is the needle right now. I am trying to use it for suturing. Now you see one axis is neutralized but how about the other axis? It can go sideways because the serrations are only in one axis. So how do I make sure that both axes are neutralized? I have crisscross serrations. And in addition to that, I would have a little slit here. This is where the needle should sit. Can you zoom here please? I will show you how to get a suture out of the wrapper and then we will get on with it. Pay attention to every step. Each mistake would be noticed by people who are marking you when you are doing it. So that slit is where the needle should be. and how do you hold a needle holder? Go back please. There are two grips again. Conventional grip which is this. I told you in the mosquito and other artery forceps, you should be just about distal to the terminal interphalangeal joint of the thumb and the ring finger. If you go in here, you become one with the instrument. Now you will have to move with the instrument so the instrument controls you. You should control the instrument. So cut, get to the tip. You can be out of it whenever you want. You control it. And now what is moving? My elbow. Pronation, supination, pronation, supination, pronation, supination. The other grip is called palm grip. In knife also I told you about palm grip. Which is this. This is the grip I like to use. What do I do here? My index finger sits here. And I can guide it in. My advantage here is I can go back like this if I want to. So I use this part. Especially if the needle holder is smallish, say here. I'll use this to take a bite through and go back this way. This way, this way. So I can rotate the instrument. I control it rather than instrument controlling me. Because that's the key. Is that okay? Yes, sir. The next step is to get the suture out of the wrapper. And this is an important step before I allow you to make an incision and a suture because they, by now they would have settled down. Please look at this wrapper of a suture. There is a line here. If you cannot see, please tell me. You can see. Yes. And there is a slit here. Learn to say yes and no please. Yes sir. Now this slit is where I have to tear it. But a common mistake that happens is when you use the scissors and go zap, zap, zap right across. Every, all of us have done it at least once. And as you cut through, you will soon realize the suture is all over the place, cut into pieces. What is the right way to open a wrapper therefore? Watch it. I will keep it in vision. I will tear it down to the line. The line is where the suture is, mind you. I will go along the line and pull it off. Rest is very simple. I'll have the wrapper opened. And get the suture out of the pack. The next step now. Again, there is a vertical slit. Seen or not? Yes, sir. Here, okay. That's vertical. And there's an oblique cut here. Remember the straight cut is where the needle is. So that's why the cuts have been provided. They are not for no reason. I hold on the needle. Where do I hold the needle? At the junction of posterior one third and anterior two third. What is posterior or closer to swage? 
watch it. The needle can be seen. It's black with such a yes, good, thank you. Now that's the suede where the thread is attached, and that's a tip. And that's a body. So at the junction of one third and two thirds to graft the needle. Lock it. Clear? Once I've locked it, how do I get it? Get the suture out of the wrapper. Please watch it carefully. Do not put the needle, pull the needle off. Do not certainly pull both the hands of the wrapper and the needle off. What you should do is take the wrapper away. And certainly not both. You do that most often. C is common. First one, needle away, wrapper away. Third is both. You ever watch a nurse do it? People are ducking for help. So they be careful. Don't do that. You take just the wrapper away. Clear? Clear to all? Yes, sir. The needle is grafted and I'm just showing you one bite and then two exercises will be done simultaneously because we missed the first one. Watch it carefully how you make put a suture. Remember the needle should be entering the skin vertically and how far should be the bite? You keep hearing about 1 cm, 2 cm, 2.5, everything is very speculative. It is twice the depth of the wound. How much? If the depth of the wound is X, how far should be the bite? So usually the depth of the wound when you are suturing skin is 5 mm. So how far should be the bite? That is 1 cm. And what should be the distance between the two sutures? Same. And how long should be the suture left after you finish the job? Same. So remember the rule of 1, 1, 1. But that's in adults. In children it will not be 1 cm. So the rule of twice the depth of the wound is more likely to apply everywhere. And if the depth of the wound is x, your bite is 2x, the depth is 2x, the distance between the two bites is 2x again. Length of the suture is 2x. Now I'm taking a bite, watch it, and I glide through the tissue, and I use my counter forceps to come out to the other side. And remember now, I have held it on the other side. I'll rotate like this. No pulling. And remember, the safest place for the needle to be on is the needle holder. You can note it now. Safest place for the needle to be on is the needle holder. Watch it here. Sometimes you would have seen, and it happens all the time. I have taken a bite, I am showing you the wrong way of doing it. And the needle has gone somewhere. And then you start pulling it out. And it has gone all over the place. This is a ridiculous way to do it. Wrong way to do it. Why do you keep it on the needle holder? It will not hurt anybody. It will not get into the patient anywhere. And you can graft it on the needle holder and leave it. And use another instrument or hand to put the knots. We will do knotting today so you will know. And this is the bite of the suture I have taken. It is a simple suture. Where I have just gone twice the depth of the wound on either side and taken a bite. If I go back to get a good cosmesis and also the hemostasis, I'll call it a matrix suture. What do I do? On the same axis, I take a superficial bite which closes the dead space. This is vertical matrix. If I go parallel, it will be horizontal matrix. So far clear? Not clear? Clear? Yes, oh, who is saying no? Raise your hand because I can't hear. What is not clear? I went through the first part was clear. Second, I went reverse superficially in the same axis, taking just about the edge of the incision. That's it. That's a vertical matter suture. Clear? Now I'll show you the Horizontal matters also. And you will probably understand. I have taken a bite. I 
and then we go parallel to it, that is the horizontal matrix. It is cosmetically inferior, but hemostatically better. Matrix would mean twice. So one, I take a deep bite and a superficial bite in the same line. The other is I take a deep bite and another deep bite parallel to it and then tie. That will put the tissues together. Now the exercise one and exercise two. Please load the blade on the handle, number one. Before that put on gloves if you don't have them. I'll, do you have gloves? Where is the ethicon person? Vinay? They are gloves. I know what you said. They are getting you gloves, don't worry. And we don't need them. And we can start straight away. Can you listen to me? First make the incision. It will take time to distribute sutures. Load the blade on the 